for the weaker riders. There's a very important concept that will help them to get over the initial difficulties of riding, help them to find a way to, to get round a field and be in control of their pony much more than they would have been without this concept. And it also will help the better players, but a lot of them already have it without knowing it. And I call it being outside your horse. A lot of people have taken that meaning you don't even think about what your legs are doing and like that. It's only to do with your, your vision. You still ride the horse, like with all the rules of riding. The plants of your legs, your hands, and, uh, and so you are totally applying your body to the horse, but without seeing the horse. And the, the best example is if you're in the middle of New York in a car, do you see your car? I don't think anybody, you know, you, you cannot be looking some part of your car, at least if you're going to switch your radio in the middle of heavy traffic, you're in big trouble. You, you. Now, not only does it enable you to see much more uh, than what is happening around you from a tactical point of view, but I believe that the horse, being the non predator with eyes on the side of the head, um, can see you, and actually, if he's been, especially when, like he should have been, well trained, he's actually been trained to follow you. It hasn't been specifically laid down that he's, he's trained to follow you, but I believe that the end result of good horse training is that the pony is following the rider. The real crux of it is that if you keep looking at your horse, he doesn't actually know where you want to go. Uh, and the only message that he will receive is you want to go straight. Maybe you want to go faster. But if you're looking around as you should anything and you're totally outside your horse, and then when you want to go, or you give the message, really, he then follows you immediately and he goes where you're looking. And take it even further, a wonderful way to stop a horse, that you're going really fast and you need to really stop, is to look behind you. And then slam your legs on and don't look forward until you stop it. You've got endless bonuses because you're reading the game behind you while you're doing it. Because normally you're wanting to stop because the game's behind you. And it, it's a real hot tip because, it, but everything in your body tells you, I must see what's happening to the horse. I must see what's happening. There's no need to. It's a good horse, good trained. It's much more important behind. So of course you must slam your legs on at the same time to bring him under you. Yes, and look behind you. And I've also taught people in, in in lines when I've lined them up to explain something, and there's always somebody who has a pony that won't stand still. It's just absolutely extraordinary. And I will say to them, now, if you just look at me instead of looking at your horse, your horse will stand still. And they look at me like I'm mad. And I say, okay, you don't believe me, do you? Come on, now look at me. Look at me. Like, stay looking at me. I'm talking to like I'm The horse doesn't move, does he? And, and, it would always work. They, you see, if you look at them, rather like a pretty girl, you look at a pretty girl, you lose control of um, at the wrong moment. So something click the horse is, I think, may, maybe quite vain or something like that. There is definitely, but the fact that the eyes are on the side of the head, they see you look at them. <laughs> <laughs>